DS is represented by square root of 5, cosine theta, d theta, all over the square root of 5, you just copy 5, minus x squared is going to be represented by 5 sine theta. What did you notice? From a variable x, it now become written in terms of theta. Okay? So from uh, this is called trigonometric substitution because from this form, algebraic in nature, and then we convert it into trigonometric in nature. Okay? So we will have now <coughs> integral of square root of 5 cosine theta d theta all over. What do we need to do? We factor out 5. 5, sorry for this. That's sine squared. Okay? 5 times the quantity minus sine squared theta. Simplify further, you will have square root of 5 cosine theta d theta all over. Then you can throw this out, leading us with square root of 5, right, right? And then square root of, what happened to this 1 minus sine squared? It will give you cosine square root theta. And then, you can cancel this out. Then cosine theta, sorry, d theta all over, what is the square root of cosine squared? Cosine cosine theta. Then cancel this out. What is left? D theta. And then integrate, you have theta plus C. And then you will write it back to the original variable. So from here, you can have x over square root of 5 equals sine theta. Right? And you need to get theta. By using the inverse function, you have arc sine x over square root of 5 equals theta. Replacing theta by arc sine x over square root of 5, and then you will get the final answer. Okay, yeah? okay. But then again, I'm telling you that this one is the short, shortest method on how to, to integrate this form. So you can use the basic integration formulas for this, okay? Because it will lead us to arc sine. However, this formula is obtained by using this technique. Okay, medyo mahaba nga lang. So let us try another one. Say, I'll be putting another variable at, at the numerator. x squared dx over the square root of 5 minus x squared. So for this one, you can no longer use this technique, okay? This will not lead to arc sine, right? Why? Because of this x squared. You get it, right? All right? So in that case, we will be applying this technique, okay? The integral contains the square root of 5 minus x squared. <clears throat> Question, sir. Where can we find this square root of square root of a squared plus u squared square root of a squared minus u squared square root of u squared minus a squared? Is it on the numerator or on the denominator so that we can use this technique? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? It could be on the numerator or denominator. The, 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 the only thing you need to consider is, is my integral containing any of this regardless whether it is written on the numerator or denominator. I'll give you later an example when, when it is written on the numerator. Sorry. <clears throat> so by using the same technique, we will let x be equal to square root of 5 what are we going to use? Sine. Sine theta. What do you need to have? You need to have x squared, you need to have dx. So we get dx equals square root of 5 cosine theta d theta. You need to have x squared. Squaring this, 5 sine squared theta. And then you replace everything. So this can now be written as, what is x squared? 5 sine squared theta. You get correct? Okay. And then what is your dx? dx is the square root of 5 cosine theta d theta. Alright? All over the square root of 5 minus 5 
sine squared theta. And then let us now simplify. You got pi square root of pi. You can draw it outside. You can just leave it on the integral. Sine squared theta, cosine theta, d theta, all over. You do the same. You factor out pi on the radical part. Okay? And then leaving us with 1 minus sine squared theta. And then simplifying this algebra algebraically, this will give you cosine squared. You take the, the square root, so that will become cosine. So what is left on the denominator? What is left on the denominator? Square root of pi, cosine theta. And then cancel this out. So what is left to integrate? So, that constant part you can throw it outside, pi times the integral of sine squared theta d theta. So what are we now going to do? What is this for? So the both groups of trigonometric integrals, group number one, case number three, where n is even. Right? Right? So that's one half minus one half. Pi times the integral of one half minus one half, one half cosine two theta. Two theta. D, d, d theta. And then you are left to integrate pi times one half theta. Right? And then what about this one? Minus integral of cosine is sine two theta. This is one half. You get the reciprocal of this. 1 half times 1 half, one it will become 1 fourth, right? Plus C. And then the only thing we have to do is to integrate those 5, each term here, and then we will be writing it back to the original variable by using this equivalence. And then do not forget to draw your triangle, okay, later. So say, from here, we have x over square root of 5 equals sine theta. Then you draw your triangle. This is your theta, and then you use the so Toa principle. Okay? This is sine. This is your so. Sine, so. Opposite over hypotenuse. So. Okay? So you have this is your theta, opposite is x, this is the square root of 5. If this is x, this is the square root of 5, what do you think is the measure of this leg? Square root of pi minus x squared. And eto yan. Okay? So, what about this one? This is 2 theta. Okay? This is 2 theta and this is theta alone. But do not forget, by double angle identity, you have sine 2 theta is 2 cosine theta sine theta. Okay? Then you have Pi halves theta, right? Yes. Yes. You're still with me? Yes. Minus five. one fourth, five fourths, one fourth times five, yes. times times two yes. cosine theta sine theta. Plus it. Why do we need to use this identity? It's basically because this angle is represented by represented by theta alone. Okay? Theta alone. And what is your parameter here? 2 theta. Okay? This theta is different from this uh, parameter 2 theta. So we will be using this one. So how do you express this using this triangle? This is equal to what? 2 cosine. So ka. Ka. Adjacent. So what is our goal is to write it back to x. From theta, write it back to x. So we have Over times sine. So, okay. x over square root of five. Sine a x over square root of five. And then we will be replacing it here. So you have five halves. Theta. What is your theta here? Theta. Arc sine, arc sine, arc sine, arc sine x over square root of 5 minus, minus 
this times 5 fourth. That's 5 halves. Right? Right? 5 fourth times 2. That's 5 halves. Then you copy this one. x, this x, times this, square root of 5 minus x squared all over 5. Square root of 5 times square root of 5? 5. All over 5. Then you can cancel this out. So then this one will become x alone, and this one will become 2 alone, then plus c. And this will be your final answer. Get right? Can I erase this part? So do not forget to write it from the whole each and part of all. If it's written in x, then in the final answer it should be expressed in the whole x. Please don't forget.
So what is left? Secant to the fourth theta, tangent theta, d theta, all over square root 2 times 3, that's 6, divided by 2, that's 3. So you, you are left with tangent cube theta, right? And then simplify further, you have c, one more, secant to the fourth theta, tangent, 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 negative two, theta. There are three tangents on the denominator. There, there is only one tangent, right? So you can write it this way: over tangent squared theta, right? D theta. Okay. So then, what is the next step? So, the volume of the trigonometric is equal group number. Group number two. Case number. Case number. Ang, ang case number three states that when, when f when f is even and the integral is tangent only. Right? Case number one is when n is odd. You only, you only have uh, two as an option. So, sa two, sabi ay, when n is even greater than two, factor out secant squared theta, then change the remaining secant into the tangent using the identity. Secant squared theta equals tangent squared theta plus one. You get it right? Alright. So, we have... Secant squared theta, secant squared theta, that is your secant to the four. Right? Okay. Right? And then this tangent squared, I write it here. Tangent raised to negative two theta. Is it okay? D theta. And this secant squared, I will write it beside D theta. Then I will replace this by tangent squared theta plus one. Tangent squared theta plus one. Tangent. Tangent. Tangent raised to negative 2 theta. Secant. Secant squared theta. D theta. And this will become? U squared. U squared. Ah, okay. Let U equals tangent theta. By, that, by, so, by changing variable. DU is secant squared theta d theta, and you got it right here. Yes. Okay, so then we replace everything. What is this now? Our u squared plus 1. What is this? U is to negative 2. You're still with me? Okay, and what is this? Your DU. And then you introduce u raised to negative 2 each term here, leading us with? U negative. One more? U raised to negative 2. U. U squared times U raised to negative 2 is U raised to 0. Any number raised to 0 is 1. Hey, hey. Do you remember that? Yes. Plus U raised to negative 2. DU. And the only thing left is to integrate? U plus U raised to negative 1 over negative 1, and then just make this minus, okay, plus C, and then you have U minus 1 over U, right, right, yes. plus C, and then we replace U by tangent theta, tangent theta minus 1 over tangent theta, plus C, but what is 1 over tangent theta? What is 1 over tangent theta? Cotangent theta, plus C, and then from theta, we will write it back here, okay, so what is our identity test? This tells us that x over 1 is secant theta. Right? Yeah. And then, you do the triangle. This is theta. How do you express secant? Secant is the reciprocal of? Cosine. Cosine. 
and cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So what is secant? Hypotenuse. Hypotenuse over adjacent. So what is this side of the triangle? Minus one, and this is x squared minus one. And then, following this for tangent theta, is what? How do you express tangent theta? Oh, you tell me what to write here. X squared minus one. Minus, what about cotangent? One over square of x squared minus one plus c. Then writing this as one fraction, we get the LCD here. Square root of is x squared minus one. You multiply, you have got x squared minus one, right? And then you copy this part, minus one plus c. Simplify further, you got x squared minus two all over the square root of x squared minus one plus c. If you want it more presentable, then you get rationalize the denominator, leaving you with x squared minus Two times the quantity x squared of x squared minus one over x squared plus one. Ah, oh, minus one. Sorry, minus one plus c. You can use this as your final answer. So it's fake. Okay. Formulas. That's why we are proposed with this technique of integration. The techniques, it does not necessarily mean shortcut, right? It's a, a, a way you know, to, to solve the problem. In techniques, it's not shortcut. Baka tanong nyo, bakit ko ang haba? Why is it very long? Done? Done? Sine squared theta. 
square root of 5 cosine theta d theta. Then what comes next? 5. What is this? Square root of 5 times square root of 5. 5 times 5. 25. Then it's right? Yes. Sine squared theta. What is this? Cosine squared. Square root of cosine squared. Cosine times cosine. Cosine squared. Okay. So what I'm going to use now? So the groups of trigonometric integrals, group number one, case number two, and m and n are even. For sine squared theta, one half minus one half cosine two theta times one half plus one half cosine two theta. Okay, then multiplying the two, you got? One. There's another cosine squared here. You're still with me? Yes. One fourth minus one fourth times one, one half plus one half cosine four theta. And then you got what? This becomes 1 8. So 25 integral log. 1 fourth minus 1 8. 1 fourth minus 1 8. This is 2 8, right? So that's 1 8. Alright? Yes. 1 8 minus, minus 1 8. Half. I am introducing 1 fourth each term inside the parenthesis. Right? So that's 1 8. 1 fourth minus 1 8. That's 1 8. Am I right? Am I right? Yes. And then 1 fourth times 1 half. That's 1 8. Cosine 4 theta. D theta. And then? Integrate 25, 1 8 theta minus 1 8 times 4, 1 over 32 integral of cosine d in sine 4 theta plus c. Then introduce 25 minus 25 over 32.